decades has caused many glaciers to shrink and sea levels to rise. The retreat of tidewater glaciers is controlled by the detachment of icebergs. Glaciologists call this phenomenon carving. To say the very least, they have a hard time understanding this process. Carving is highly influenced by the speed of ice. The faster the ice moves, the more icebergs are released. Therefore, determining ice flow velocities is key to understanding carving. To measure the speed of Bowden Glacier, these scientists use a fixed-wing drone, which is programmed to fly and collect aerial images along the glacier front. Flying a drone in polar regions is very challenging, since the autopilot cannot rely on its compass crucial instrument for navigation, but unreliable so close to the North Pole. Therefore, flying requires a lot of preparation. Three, two, one. Collecting data is one step, but analyzing the data is another. The pictures taken by the drone serve to map the glacier front with great accuracy. By tracking the displacement of crevices between two flights, the velocity of the glacier surface can be determined. Here, for instance, the ice moves up to 2 meters per day, and one can see that a 1 kilometer long iceberg is about to detach. These data are crucial to run mathematical models which can reproduce carving by computer simulations. Drones allow scientists to gain new insights into carving processes and to better understand how they affect glacier mass loss. It is hoped that this new technology will help us to better assess the evolution of glaciers and sea level rise in the future.